So we'll go do a little try on haul and I'll show you guys what I got in. And I went by their sizing chart and I was swimming in everything. Tank top from Condon. I'm gonna top it off. The only thing I regret about these nails is added in the broccoli. So we'll let this finish steaming out. Good morning, you guys. Just doing my skincare really quick. I've got like a few things going on today, including a meeting in just a few minutes. Do my Tower 28 spray. I'm gonna do my water flosser using my TheraBreath. I'm filming some content after my meeting, and I'm gonna get my nails done today, which I fucked up on my nails, and I was really upset with myself because I have never, ever, ever, ever missed a nail appointment. And last Friday, I had one, and I totally forgot. I just like completely spaced, and my nail tech was like, "Hey, where are you?" And I was like, "Oh shoot!" I like. I was just so in the mode for like getting ready for San Diego that I forgot that I had a nail appointment and it's like so weird. I usually, I'm like, I'm really good about like always putting my appointments in my phone and I don't know why I didn't for that one. So she's like, hey, where are you? And by the time I answered her, I was like, oh my God, like I totally forgot. And she's like, well, can we reschedule? Which I was like, yeah, of course, like let's go ahead and reschedule. So we rescheduled it to this week, but it's at this awkward point in time. It's honestly a little bit early to get my nails done for Europe but also if I were to like do them again before Europe they'd only be maybe a couple weeks old if that so I was like oh I really messed that up had I gone last week it would have been better I would have like had them for like three weeks and then redid them but no, at this point, if they're only going to be like a week and a half to two weeks old, I'm like, I might as well just do my Europe nails now because the regrowth actually wasn't too bad. I'm actually thinking of like a similar color. And if I'm sticking with like a pinky neutral color for Europe, then even if it grows out a little bit, it should still look fine. But still, I was just like, man, I really, really messed that up. Hey, babe. Leo just opened the door. But yeah, I'm leaning towards just going ahead and getting my Europe nails done and then just like I'll have to deal with the fact that they'll be grown out a little bit when we go, but there are worse things in life. Like this is very, very much not an actual problem. I do understand that. I think I'm just gonna can you close this? Thank you. I think I'm just gonna do skincare because like I said, I do wanna film some content today. So I'm gonna do like actual makeup after I have breakfast and do my meeting. So I don't wanna do like a little bit of makeup then wash it off just to do like a full face later. Uh, my hair is just struggling right now. What is happening with it? I tried a couple more like heatless overnight hairstyles the last few nights and I feel like my hair just looks weird now because I've been like messing with it a lot. I'll probably either put it up or in a hat or both when I go to get my nails done because like what's happening here? What's going on? I think I've come to the conclusion it's definitely gonna be unicorn curls. I tried the like beachy overnight heatless curl method and I mean they're okay but they just like come out really uneven on my hair. I tried it like twice this week and it just like it just wasn't working so pretty positive for Europe. I'll be rocking the unicorn curls and actually let me go ahead and put my hair up because the way that it's bending and stuff is really bugging me. All right set for now. I'm gonna do my meetings and then work on some content. Made my favorites this morning, my favorite loaded toast. I really cannot get enough of this. This and the breakfast sandwich right now, those are my two main breakfast fixations. They're both so good. Solid options if you guys need any breakfast ideas. And then I made my strawberry coffee. I'm realizing I should probably just make this easier on myself and like prep out some strawberry milk because it keeps for like two to three days as opposed to like having to make the strawberry milk every single time. So I think I'm gonna start doing that just so that this is easier in the morning. Just did my makeup and hair. I haven't worn my hair fully styled in a mid-height pony in so long i feel like i almost feel like it looks weird like i need the ponytail to show because i feel very like flat i mean like i like it but i'm also like this feels weird but anyways <laughs> yeah makeup is done because like i said i am gonna film some content so have that done i like made sure to powder it up a lot because i won't be able to film content until after i get my nails done which can be a few hours from now so I'm trying to make sure it stays preserved but i'm gonna get dressed right now for the nail salon but i got in a few new things from boohoo and cotton on that i think i want to style from so we'll go do a little try on haul and i'll show you guys what i got in to so start off with cotton on you guys actually saw these a couple weeks ago when i first got in the package I ordered pieces that I could also use for the office since 
you know, there's that whole thing going on. But the first item that I got is this maxi skirt. It's like this khaki maxi skirt. It's got a slit here. They did market it as a utility skirt, but it just has like the regular five points pockets. So I wouldn't necessarily call it a utility skirt, but just like a good khaki skirt good option for the office i'll try it on with this first top from cotton on so i got this striped ribbed t-shirt our office is very very casual the dress code is literally use your best judgment so you know as long as you're not like inappropriately dressed like a lot of skin showing or anything then you're fine people have even come in in like athletic wear and stuff like that people wear like baseball hats to our office that kind of stuff so it's not like any type of like hard dress code so i just made sure to get pieces that were a not crop tops because i feel like all tops lately are crop tops and i was having a hard time finding full length so cotton on had a few good options so i got this t-shirt to start so here are the first two pieces i know you guys can't see the full length on the skirt but i'll put a photo here on the screen it's actually perfect length if you are petite i think it's supposed to just go to the ankle on most people People. so if you're on the shorter side like me it's gonna go to just about floor length which is perfect and then here is the top just a basic t-shirt this one is definitely great for summer it's very very lightweight but shoulders are still covered stomach is still covered it goes down to about here on me so even if I were to do it with like mid-rise jeans to like here or something it's still gonna cover me up appropriately but yeah just a good basic tee to have it's also very very soft I honestly love the quality at cotton on I know that their stuff is very basic but I feel like they're great then like if you're shopping for capsule wardrobe pieces but yeah that's that is the first piece and then the second piece that I got this one is a tank top again our office is very casual not every office can get away with this it's like a high boat neck tank top I just got it in a basic black but again nice and full length so I'll try that on so here is the tank top on I envisioned it definitely styled with something like this skirt or also with some jeans or some like linen trousers but yeah just like a basic boat neck tank and it covers up a decent amount also too at our office it runs crazy cold so more than likely I'll have a jacket on over this the whole time but even if I were to take it off like I said depending on your office this could be a pretty good tank top option for the summertime depending on how you style it but yeah this is like so soft I can get over how soft the rib material is for cotton on. I think I'm missing one of the tops, so let me go grab it. Yes, I was missing one. This is the only one I just never tried on, but I just got like a basic gray tee. This one is like a little bit of a looser fit, just like for a different style option, because I do have a couple of fitted gray tees, although granted they are cropped, so I probably can't wear them to the office anyways, but I just thought like a loose option would be fun to style to switch it up. So let me try this one on. So here is the tee, and then I would definitely maybe do like a little bit of a French tuck maybe like this. I would definitely do it with a skirt. This would be cute with a pair of like my shorter Western booties or something like that. And then my work tote, which is actually right here, just like that. Again, so casual at our office. So I know some of you guys might be like, oh, I can never wear that to my office. I need to be dressier. Not the case at our office. Just, you know, don't wear something revealing and you're good to go. But yeah, this t-shirt's really nice nice and loose like it's the perfect looseness like it's relaxed but it's not so oversized that it's unflattering or too casual so i think that this one's definitely a good option i would also do this with jeans with leggings things like that but then we also have boohoo and boohoo is not for the office like for sure this stuff's not for the office but the first item that i got i'm sure you guys have seen these pants everywhere these are like the striped linen pants that everyone's been wearing this one's like a brown and cream stripe and then kind of cool it has like this little extra added layer. So it looks like you've got these and then like a pair of boxers on underneath or something like that. But I love the thought of these for beach days, especially like if I were to do beach days over the next couple of weeks, cause it's still like a pretty heavy marine layer. It's still pretty like cloudy during the day, but then like we get a little bit of sun mid to late afternoon. So these types of pants would be great cover ups over that. So let me pop this one on. And what's lovely about the pants I got from Boohoo is that they are all petite, which is so great. Though I will say Boohoo's sizing chart did me so dirty. This is actually one of two Boohoo or well technically three Boohoo orders that I put in. I got a bunch of dresses for Europe from them in a separate order and I went by their sizing chart and I was swimming in everything. For some reason, according to their sizing chart, I'm like a size 12, but in everything else, I'm traditionally a six or an eight. So I went by their sizing chart, got everything in and everything was so big and I went back and I reordered like my actual size and stuff but the only thing where their sizing chart did work for me are any petite pieces because this is actually I think it's a size 12 American and it's like fitted like their sizing's all over the place like you guys can see the waist that is like the perfect size for me but I do really like these pants a lot lengthwise they're not too bad I know you guys can't really see but I promise you like they're like just barely dragging on the ground but yeah i just think it's so weird that this is a size us 12 and it fits perfectly while the dresses that were us 12s again all according to their sizing chart were 
way, way, way too big, which is actually the case with the other pair of striped pants that I got. So I also got these pants, again, striped pants in that same haul. And these ones are actually the same size as this. Like I looked at my order and both of them said US 12, but I'll put these on and show you guys the difference. So they are just cut so differently. This one's so loose on me. I actually don't mind it. These are also like a little bit longer on me too, even though they're also petite. But again, like I don't mind it. I don't mind having the extra room and it being like nice and loose. I will say these are like a little bit see-through. I think I want to wear these, but I just need to change underwear. But yeah, these are really cute debating if I want to do it with this or maybe I'll do it with a black tank top okay yeah now I think I'm gonna do this for today just like nice and casual but yeah it's just like nuts how much bigger these ones are versus these ones that literally say the exact same size on the label it's just boohoo's a mystery with sizing apparently but I do like the pieces like I wish I had gone one size down on this I wouldn't have wanted to go like two sizes down but just one would have been perfect but anyways oh i have one more item i'm not gonna try this on because i don't want to like take all of this off but i will put a photo on the screen of the model wearing it but i got this little romper i'm thinking i'm gonna bring this one to europe it's a linen romper it's so freaking cute again i got the us 12 i wish that i had gone one or maybe two sizes down on this but this one isn't as bad i debated trying to exchange it but it's not so bad because the back is just like crisscross and you can tie it tighter so once i pulled it really really tight it fit a lot better but overall it probably would have been better one or two sizes down but lesson learned not going by their sizing chart ever again <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go with this like i said i'm just gonna change the underwear so it's not showing through since this is a little bit sheer and then i'll finish styling it and then we'll head out for my nail appointment here's where my nails are right now so this is about three and a half four weeks out so this is what my nails would end up looking like by the end of europe and actually i'm not too mad at it I mean, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. So yeah, I think for sure today we're going to do the Europe nails and just deal with the fact that I'm have a little bit of growth at the start of Europe and then decent amount of growth at the end of Europe. But the nails still look like themselves still look pretty good. Nothing's chipped, nothing's cracked, nothing's broken. That's a miracle. So at least like I have a good base starting out for the nails for Europe. So all set here. Got the pants on from Boohoo. They are a little long still, but it's fine. Tank top from Cotton On. I'm gonna top it off with my denim jacket from Levi's, the spec sunglasses, my coach bag, and then I have on my, oh, <laughs> I think you're blocking it this way, my Adidas Gazelle. So that is the outfit for the nail salon, and I am gonna head out of here. So here are the nails, you guys. I am obsessed. If I were getting married today, these would be my wedding nails, hands down. I love them so much. Basically what we did was two coats of like a neutral light pink and then two coats of clear because I wanted to keep the pink nice and sheer. And then we just did a light application of white chrome because if you go too thick with the chrome, it's gonna turn like pure silver. So she just did a very light application and these just turned out so perfect. These are absolutely gonna be the nails that I'm gonna rock in Europe. And it's nice that we went pretty neutral because since I'm gonna have to have these for a while before you're up at least when they grow out it's not gonna be quite as obvious because they are neutral they are pretty much the color of my nails just like with chrome on them and like a little bit of pink so yeah these are stunning i love them i think these might be my favorite nails or tied with my favorite nails that we've ever done because that blue with like the silver edge was pretty sick but these are just they're so pretty they're so classic they're perfect for like any occasion if you are a bride get this oh my god the only thing i regret about these nails is not doing them for my wedding but i was not into dip yet then nor did i have stella then so it may not have been the same but ugh, i'm i'm obsessed i can't stop looking at them in the camera because they're so gorgeous they just oh love them anyways i stopped by the grocery store really quick mainly to pick up some chicken thighs because i have been wanting to try the like you can make meals in a rice cooker which is like so cool to me especially with me being filipino of course i have a rice cooker so i've saved a couple of recipes and i think i'm gonna make the one it's a japanese dish and i'm so sorry i'm probably gonna butcher this but it's called 
Oyakudon, I think that's how you say it. Basically in English, I think it translates to like parent child bowl or something. I'm getting this all from the TikTok that I'm copying the recipe from, by the way. So like take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. The other girl who did post this recipe does live in Japan. So I believe her. Basically that dish, usually it's not made in a rice cooker, but she showed a way that you can do it. And I was like, Ooh, I definitely want to try that. And basically the reason it's called the parent child bowl or whatever it's translated to is because you have the chicken, which is the parent. And then you also do an egg, which is the child. So yeah, you do that season it and then over a bed of rice like I said she showed a way to like cook it in a rice cooker so I'm excited to try that I also picked up just a couple things that either caught my eye or I wanted to try first up is this Kika's original tortilla chips I don't know I've never seen these before and I was curious I broke the cardinal rule of Ooh, wow, Jesus. I'm not going to the grocery store hungry. I am starving right now. So I just saw these and I was like, ooh, chips. So we'll try these out. I mean, they looked seasoned well. Like I could see the salt on them. I hate a bland chip. It drives me absolutely nuts, but they also look like perfectly crispy and all that stuff. So, mm. that's a good chip. There's a nice, good thickness to it, but still crispy flavor on it's good. One of my favorite chips to get from the grocery store is the Have a Corn Chips. Those are so good. They actually put soy sauce on them. If you've ever had them and you're like, what is that flavor? Like I can't pinpoint it. It's soy sauce. It's nuts. They're so uniquely delicious, but this one is like a good solid classic tortilla chip. And a lot of times when I get like tortilla chips, I feel like they're very bland, but this one, like I said, it's seasoned nicely. I also got these mini peanut butter M&Ms. Peanut butter M&Ms are my favorite. I did not know that they come in mini, so I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to open that right now, but I do want to have one of these guys so i got these power crunch bars there's this girl on tiktok and i literally went down a rabbit hole the last two nights watching her what i eat in a days and she always has like the vanilla of these and it looked so good i'm not a vanilla girl so i got a couple other flavors i got the triple chocolate chocolate mint and then the strawberry cream i'm gonna try the triple chocolate but these have 13 grams of protein and i thought if i like these i'll just like get a box and just like have these at the house whenever i want like a little quick sweet snack here's what they look like it's just like a chocolate covered wafer which is what i loved about it Mmm. And triple chocolate's good. Oh shit, these might be my new favorite. I need to go back and get like the actual box of these. These are good. But I need to head home because I wanted to film content. So I need to get there and get that done. Are you done being crazy? He's literally pulling all of his toys out. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need like 10% less from you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> getting ready to make dinner and I realized I messed up once again I did not read the recipe while I was at the grocery store and I forgot things so we're actually gonna pivot we're still gonna do a rice cooker recipe but it's not gonna be oyokodon it's a very similar profile to what we were originally gonna do but just slightly different and then I'm gonna not do the egg I think I want to make myself a scallion pancake because I forgot I had some but anyways so I have some ginger and garlic that I've been melting because we do the frozen ginger and garlic and then I'm just gonna go grab the recipe really quick I I have not actually cooked chicken in a while. I just don't want to. Like I get chicken pre-made a lot, but it's fine. We're, we're gonna do it. So I got, should I do two chicken broths? How hungry am I? Not very hungry, but I feel like I should do two. So we're gonna do one. Or no, not chicken broths. These are chicken thighs. This one's small and thin. So we'll do two. There we go. So two of those, and then I'll put that away in a little bit. Leonidas, what are you doing? You cannot have the raw chicken. I mean, you technically can't. Well, no, you can't. You're allergic. I'm like, I don't need you farting up the house. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So we got the ginger, the garlic, oyster sauce, which I do have. Okay, so oyster sauce. Wow, this thing is thick. <laughs> there we go. Got it. You are all up in my business tonight. I'm not mad. I'm just curious as to why. Is it because your dad's gone? Trevor's at the banquet right now. I eyeball everything, so I, I don't even know what the actual measurement you're supposed to use is, but we're going to call it done. Hi, Shadow. Then soy sauce. And I am going to modify this recipe a little bit. Also, thank you, Jill and Coco and Cole and CJ for <laughs> this giant bottle of soy sauce. This is my Christmas present from them. <laughs> it's hilarious. But we'll just do soy sauce. I'm just going to use this one. Then I'm gonna do a dash of like the super nice one. When I'm cooking, I don't like to use like the super nice soy sauce, except for just a little bit of it. We're gonna just add a little extra with a bit of sesame oil. So it says and black pepper. Perfect. Then I'm like, that's black pepper, right? Okay. 
I was gonna say, that's gonna be really salty if I accidentally grab salt. So there's what the mixture looks like and I'm just gonna mix it on up. I'm just gonna use my hands because they're clean. So there's the chicken mixed up and you guys, this smells amazing already somehow. So very excited. Pulling out our rice cooker. Oh my God, there's so many things right in front of it. But we just have this little Black & Decker one. We got it for a wedding a while back and you know, it's been doing its thing, so not mad at it. I'm gonna use Calrose rice, which is a medium grain rice. I personally, unless I'm doing basmati, I'm not a huge fan of long grain rice. I'm not saying that I won't eat it, I just prefer a medium or short grain. But I'm gonna do about uh, just a little under a cup of this. Since this is just for me, I don't wanna do too, too much especially if I want a scallion pancake. And then I'm just gonna wash this until the water runs clear. Then it says salted chicken stock. I don't have that. We're just gonna do a regular chicken broth. I am gonna measure this the Filipino way. So making sure the liquid goes up to this finger. I set my finger on the top of the rice. Then, yeah, we want the liquid to go up that high, the first line of the ring finger. For this recipe, like I said, I did find it on TikTok. She does also have a blog, so I'll post the blog link because I'm the type I like to be able to like read instructions instead of like watch a video. Okay, that's good. Okay, what do I do here? And then place chicken thighs on top and then put remaining sauce in here. So pop these in with the sauce. Any sauce, go right on in. And into the rice maker she goes little check in here this is how we're looking has like a little bit longer to go but i'm gonna work on the hot oil sauce for it for the hot oil sauce that she has she says to do a neutral oil but like i said i like sesame oil so we're gonna do sesame oil i'm gonna heat it up in this pan because basically once i pour it out whatever's like left in there is what i'm gonna cook this galleon pancake with then i also chopped up some broccoli and i'm gonna add this into the rice cooker after it's done and just like let it steam in there for maybe like two minutes but for the hot oil sauce i have ginger and finely diced the whites of a scallion i'm like scared because like obviously the oil's gonna start spinning at some point I'm gonna get a scallion pancake ready also i've seen people do this like as a breakfast wrap which i think is so cool i just don't know how i feel about a scallion pancake and eggs but maybe one day i'll try it you know gonna pour most of the oil into that ginger and onion mixture let it do its thing so i'm just mixing that together that'll be a little dipping sauce scallion pancake is done and she is Perfect. Added in the broccoli, so we'll let this finish steaming out. I think we're done here, and I ate the pancake, so I'm not as hungry as I originally was. So I think I'm just gonna have one of these chickens and have like the rest tomorrow, but this looks very good. So I have it plated. I just did one of the chicken thighs and then broccoli. I put a little bit of soy sauce in the broccoli, then a little sesame seeds, and a little green onion. All right, and there it is. Entire dinner made in a rice cooker. Also, we're watching the boys. That's what the alarm was. Just made myself a little half serving of the Ninja Chop ice cream. And you guys, I did it this time. Like, this looks so good. Like, this is freaking ice cream. Like, before it was a little bit more of a frosty consistency. But this time, I just took my time. I pulsed it. And then I only added just a dash of milk to it. Last time I added, like, a good amount. Though I did have, like, a full serving last time. Like, that's freaking ice cream. Oh, Great. It just the only thing is it just melts fast, so I gotta kind of work a little bit quickly, especially with how long the chop takes to get it to this consistency. It's been melting this whole time, but again, if you don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a ninja creamy, but you want to be able to make protein ice cream at home, the chop is the way to go. But I'm just gonna chop it off with. I was gonna do the cookie dough, but I decided since I had these mini peanut butter M Ms, I'm like let's do that. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look at that. Just a great little dessert. I think there's like 15 grams of protein in here or something like that. Well, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this vlog. I hope you guys, ooh, that's really good. That's super good with the M&Ms. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and I will see you soon in the next vlog.